Hello everyone, this is Sen from Sen Invest. Today I'll be introducing a high APY earning strategy on Binance. Let's get started. So if you're not on the Earn page already, you can simply access it here from the top drop down menu, Earn, and then click on Binance Earn. One stop investment solution. I'm going to search here for Bitcoin because this is one of my favorite investments, BTC. Here we can see under protected investments, there is a flexible savings option available. There's APY of 10%, which is pretty good for a proof of work coin such as Bitcoin. However, if we hover over the little I here, we can read the fine print. We see this is a savings APY tier. That means that your full balance of Bitcoin may not necessarily earn this APY. It's only offered on balances up to 0.01 Bitcoin. Lower balances will earn a lower APY. Also, under special offer, we will see that this is a limited time offer. It actually looks like it's going to expire tomorrow. Uh, whether there will be offers in the future or not uh, can't be guaranteed. That would be at the uh, discretion of Binance. Let's now pull up BUSD, which is usually the other half of the trading pair when I trade Bitcoin. BUSD similarly offers flexible savings of 10%. The fine print also shows the tiered APY. The 10% is only offered on balances up to 2000 BUSD. And for reference here, the middle and lower APY do not exceed the official rate of inflation for the United States dollar, although the top one does. Now, I would like to show you a high yield investment. So I've, I've gone back to Bitcoin here. Let's click on high yield to see what are some other options available. I'd like to introduce the first one to you today, which is dual investment, where the underlying asset is BTC. So if we click on subscribe, we will go to the dual investment page. Here, the dual investment page gives the different steps. So notice here that I have beginner mode toggled off. This is going to show a slightly more complex view. However, uh, I want to be sure that we cover all of the options available here. In step one, I'm going to choose an asset. So I have BTC selected here. Then I'm going to choose a settlement. First, I'm gonna look at sell high, which requires a deposit of BTC. And then I'm going to choose the most recent settlement date, which is the 8th of July. It's about three days out. Notice here the current BTC price is around $20,381. So as the target price moves further away from the current price of BTC, the APY also goes down until for the last item listed here with a target price of $22,500, we see that the APY is actually below the APY, which I showed you for flexible savings earlier. Let's now also compare some dates in the future and see what the APYs look like for those dates. So we can see that there are more options, but there are lower APYs. The same here, the APY is much lower for these, uh, for these settlement dates in the future. Let's go to, back to our most recent settlement date and click on subscribe for the highest APY option. So I'm going to enter an amount for Bitcoin here, 0.001. Now let's look at the different scenarios we have here. This is very important to understand. If the price is at or above 20,500, I'm going to get BUSD back in return. That means my Bitcoin is going to be sold for 20,500. I'm also going to get the interest uh, tacked onto that. And then I'm going to get the amount, which is pretty much the equivalent here of selling Bitcoin at 20,823 BUSD. So now in the other scenario, if Bitcoin is below 20,500, we can see that I get back my investment in BTC. The original amount is returned and also the amount of interest is returned. So these two scenarios are clearly demonstrated in the price chart here. Let's move on to the next step. Here there's an auto compound option. Auto compounding uh, will automatically reinvest your uh, investment amount and yield into a new product at the settlement date to earn additional rewards. And there are two options available. One is to take the basic plan, 
which is going to use a new target price until the target is reached. So we're going to use a target price 10% higher than the market price, and that's going to give an APY of approximately 10%. For the advanced plan, we're going to auto compound to the same direction if the target price isn't reached, but we're going to switch directions if the target price is reached. Here we see the target price is reached, results in a switch to the buy low BTC, which is the inverse of the sell high BTC dual investment. Again, the target price will be lower than 10% lower than the market price with an APY of approximately 10%. If the target price is not reached, we're going to continue with the sell high dual investment. So we see here that in a range, we could pretty much have a zigzag pattern going on, provided these target prices are getting hit and the direction is subsequently reversed. So if we turn off auto compound, we see the settlement amount will be distributed to the spot accounts within six hours, and we get this APY, which actually has gone up to about 200%. In the next step, we simply need to check the disclaimers to understand the nature of this investment. It's not a principal guaranteed product. You can actually stand to lose money. For example, if the price of Bitcoin were to go far past the target price, then you would not be getting a market price. You also can't cancel or redeem before settlement date. And also you need to understand the scenarios, the two, the two different settlement scenarios, which I showed you earlier. And then also agree to this investment service agreement. So we can see a summary of what we're subscribing to. Then we could hit the subscribe button and start the investment. Let's now look at the buy low scenario. So for this, we can use USDT or BUSD. I'm going to select BUSD for the example here. So with this, our goal is to buy lower than market price. So here, the current BTC price is 20374 with target prices all below the current price. We can also see that the APY decreases uh, the further away the target price gets from the current price, which is exactly the same as we saw with the sell high option, only that it's in the opposite direction. It's uh, going lower and lower here instead of higher and higher. Let's go ahead and click on the subscribe button here. So I'm going to enter 10. Here, the first scenario is that the settlement price is above the target price. I'm going to then get my 10 BUSD back in addition to 11 cents in interest. If the settlement price is below 20,000, we're simply going to get 10.11 BUSD worth of Bitcoin at the price of 20,000 BUSD per Bitcoin. The scenarios are again illustrated in the handy chart here. If we go to the next step, we see that this is pretty much the same as the sell high scenario, so I'm not going to go over it again. So now let's look at some FAQs. If we scroll down here, we can see the FAQ section. I'd like to show you the calculation formula being used here. So for sell high, we simply take the subscription amount, multiply it by the target price, and then multiply it by 1 plus the APY times the number of days on deposit divided by the number of days in the year. For buy low, we simply flip the multiply to a divide. So we're taking the subscription amount divided by the target price and then multiplying it times one plus the APY multiplied by the deposit days divided by number of days in the year. Now you noticed in my example that the APY was fluctuating a little bit. This here explains that the APY is always changing, but once you've subscribed to a dual investment product, the APY will be locked in throughout your deposit days and will not change thereon. So APY only gets locked once you subscribe. Then this one here is an important question regarding returns. Binance is going to take the average of the current price within the last 30 minutes before 4 o'clock uh, UTC plus 8 time zone on the settlement date as settlement price. Then the amount from the settlement will be transferred to your spot account within two days from the settlement time. Dual investment products can't be redeemed early and you can only receive returns after the settlement date, but not earlier. So there you see, it's quite easy actually to set up a dual investment on Binance. If you're interested in dual investment and would like to learn more about the risk and scenarios involved, I've created a handy 
Risk Analysis and Setup Guide. This guide is available for free. You simply have to visit my website at the link provided in the description and sign up for the Send Invest mailing list. Then I'll send you my free guide to dual investment. As always, please remember to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and make a comment below. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.